let's break another record. On a wonderful Christmas day, the SpaceX team delivered a remarkable gift by completing the B-19 stacking process at record speed. So, when will the next major step take place? At the same time, SpaceX has reached a significant milestone with Starlink, highlighting just how extraordinary its growth has become. Meanwhile, India has also set new records with its latest rocket mission. All this and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The B-18 issue was undeniably a low point for SpaceX as the year came to a close. It was the kind of setback that, in a traditional aerospace program, might have triggered months of reassessment and delay. For SpaceX, however, it became something very different. Rather than serving as a pause, it acted as an inflection point, igniting a noticeably sharper phase of acceleration across the Starship program. Shortly after the B-18 incident, SpaceX stated publicly on X that it intended to complete booster stacking in December. At the time, the claim was met with with widespread skepticism. The Starship system is among the most complex launch vehicles ever attempted, and previous boosters had taken many months to reach similar stages of completion. To many observers, the timeline sounded more aspirational than realistic, but yet again, SpaceX defied expectations. In a recent update, the company released a rare image from inside Mega Bay, accompanied by a simple message, Stack Complete. The image immediately drew attention across the spaceflight community, not only because such internal views are uncommon, but because it confirmed that SpaceX had delivered on a promise few believed possible. In fact, there were already strong hints that stacking had concluded even before the official announcement. Earlier that same day, the landing tank stand used to support stacking operations was removed from Mega Bay 1. That stand had been brought in on November 23rd to assist with lifting and aligning the forward section of B-19. Its departure strongly suggested that the booster sections had been fully joined and that the stacking phase was complete. The image itself is striking. Taken from near the upper levels of Mega Bay and aligned with the forward section of the booster, it emphasizes the sheer scale of the vehicle. Musk reinforced its importance by sharing the image and referring to it as the Starship V3 Super Heavy Rocket. That phrasing carries real significance. It signals not just the completion of another booster, but the arrival of a new evolutionary step in the Starship architecture. The speed of this achievement becomes even more remarkable when examined closely. Stacking of B-19 was completed on December 23rd. The first booster section entered Mega Bay on the morning of November 25th, followed by the second section the next evening. Stacking operations likely began on the 27th. Based on that timeline, SpaceX rolled all sections in roughly 28 days and completed stacking in approximately 26 to 27 days. That pace stands in stark contrast to B-18, which required roughly 175 days or nearly six months to reach the same point. The difference between these two timelines highlights just how rapidly SpaceX has increased its production efficiency in a very short period. What once took half a year has now been compressed into less than a month. This naturally raises an important question. How did SpaceX achieve such speed? One key factor is that the company did not treat the B-18 issue as a reason to slow down. Although SpaceX publicly framed stacking as a December goal, work effectively ramped up in late November with minimal downtime. In that single month, four booster sections were rolled into position in just five days, an output that would be extraordinary even by heavy industrial standards. An output that would be extraordinary even even by heavy industrial standards. This reflects a broader cultural difference between SpaceX and more traditional aerospace organizations. SpaceX operates on continuous progress, often around the clock, with a focus on rapid iteration rather than extended pauses for perfection. Problems are not endpoints, they are inputs. Each setback becomes a lesson that is immediately integrated into the next build. That approach allows SpaceX to move at a pace that often appears reckless from the outside, yet repeatedly proves effective. Maintaining this momentum will be critical as SpaceX looks ahead. By 2026, the company is targeting a wide range of ambitious missions that will require a steady supply of flight-ready Starship hardware. Rapid booster production is not just impressive, it is essential. The progress demonstrated with B-19 suggests that SpaceX is building the industrial rhythm needed to support those long-term goals. 
With stacking complete, B19 now moves into its next major phase, testing. A cryogenic proof test is expected to be the next milestone. This step carries particular weight as B18 encountered issues during its own cryogenic testing. Current expectations point to early January, though it remains unclear whether B19 or S39 will be tested first. If testing proceeds smoothly, both stages would likely return to the production site for engine installation. Static fire tests could follow by mid January, and under an aggressive but plausible schedule, launch readiness could be achieved by late January or early February. Even at this pace, caution remains essential. High-speed progress always carries risk, and avoiding further delays will require careful execution at every step. Beyond production speed, B-19 also introduces notable design refinements as part of the V-3 Super Heavy Booster. The released image offers a rare opportunity to examine these changes in detail. Weld lines across the booster body make it possible to identify the grid fin mounting location relative to the hot staging interface. The grid fins appear to be positioned farther from the hot staging area, likely passing through or attaching directly to the methane tank section. This adjustment is significant. Moving the grid fins away from the hot staging interface reduces their exposure to exhaust and thermal loads during stage separation. The result should be improved durability and reduced refurbishment requirements after flight, both critical factors for rapid reusability. Further down the booster, several red pressure vessels are visible. These are believed to be upgraded composite overwrapped pressure vessels, or COPVs, installed in the compartment above the engine section. Compared to earlier versions, these COPVs appear more robust and are designed to better withstand extreme vibration and thermal stress. Additional layers of composite fiber are expected to be added prior to final installation, further enhancing resilience. The image also provides insight into SpaceX's operational environment inside Megabay. The mobile work platforms surrounding the booster are exceptionally sturdy, a necessity when technicians are working on a structure more than 70 meters tall. A clean room positioned near the center of the booster highlights the level of quality control maintained, even while operating at an accelerated pace. Together, these details offer a glimpse of how SpaceX is preparing to scale further as facilities like Gigabay come online. While Starship dominates headlines, it's far from the only SpaceX system setting records. Starlink has now crossed a major threshold of its own, surpassing 9 million active customers worldwide. SpaceX announced the milestone by noting that Starlink is delivering high-speed internet across 155 countries and territories, underscoring its rapid global expansion. SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell echoed the achievement, crediting both the Starlink team and its growth growing user base. For a network that only became operational in late 2020, this growth is remarkable. Starlink ended 2021 with roughly 140,000 users, passed 1 million by the end of 2022, reached 2.3 million in 2023, and doubled again to 4.6 million by the end of 2024. Now, at 9 million users, the trajectory is not slowing, but accelerating. After crossing 8 million in early November, Starlink added roughly 1 million customers in just 7 weeks, averaging more than 21,000 new users per day. This pace is unprecedented in satellite communications and reflects both strong demand and clear technical advantages. By operating in low Earth orbit, Starlink delivers high speeds and far lower latency than traditional geostationary systems, producing an experience that closely matches terrestrial broadband even in remote regions. Scale is another decisive advantage. With more than 9,000 satellites in orbit, Starlink now accounts for roughly 65% of all active spacecraft around Earth. That scale is enabled by Falcon 9's high launch cadence and reusability, and it will grow further as Starship enables deployment of larger, more capable V3 satellites. Beyond the technology, Starlink's impact is tangible. It has brought reliable connectivity to remote communities, disaster zones, and regions long left offline. At the same time, it has become a major revenue engine for SpaceX, directly supporting the company's broader ambitions. As Starlink continues to expand, it is increasingly clear that it is not just a side project, but a central pillar of SpaceX's long-term strategy. Turning to Asia, India has achieved a notable milestone with its latest launch. 
At 10.25 a.m. Eastern on December 23rd, corresponding to 8.55 a.m. local time on December 24th, an LVM-3 rocket lifted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center carrying the Bluebird 6 satellite for Texas-based AST Space Mobile. Just over 15 minutes later, the satellite was successfully deployed into a 521-kilometer orbit. This mission marked the ninth flight of the LVM-3, India's most powerful rocket, which has now maintained a perfect success record since its debut in 2014. Indian Space Research Organization officials highlighted that reliability, while Prime Minister Narendra Modi emphasized the role of India's youth and the growing strength of the nation's space program. He noted that LVM-3's heavy lift capability underpins future ambitions, including the Gaganyan human spaceflight program, expanded commercial launches, and deeper international cooperation. The payload itself was historic. Weighing 6.1 metric tons, Bluebird 6 is the heaviest payload ever delivered to low-Earth orbit orbit by an Indian rocket. It's part of AST Space Mobile's constellation designed to provide direct broadband connectivity to standard smartphones without specialized ground terminals. With this launch, the constellation now includes six satellites. Bluebird 6 represents a major leap forward, while the previous five satellites launched by Falcon 9 in 2024 carried already massive 64.6 square meter communication arrays, this new generation expands that figure to as much as 223 square meters dramatically increasing capacity and coverage. Taken together, missions like this underscores India's rising stature in the global space sector. From record-setting payloads to consistent launch performance, India continues to expand its influence. And across the industry, from SpaceX's rapid iteration to Starlink's global reach and India's growing capabilities, one reality is clear. The pace of spaceflight progress is accelerating with even more ambitious milestones ahead. And with that, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.